Have you ever paused to wonder if your great, great, great grandfather swung from tree to tree, nibbling on bananas and scratching his head in confusion? Or have you ever considered that the polished humans of today with their smartphones and coffee addictions might just be a distant cousin to a chimpanzee? The theory that man originated from apes is one of those charming ideas that scientists like to throw around, almost as if they enjoy the image of us all being the sophisticated end result of a long line of less than refined ancestors. This idea, known as the theory of evolution, was popularized by Charles Darwin in the 19th century. Darwin suggested that through a process called natural selection, over millions of years, species adapt to their environments. Those that adapt well survive and pass on their traits, while those that don't simply fade into oblivion. It's a bit like a cosmic talent show, where only the most adaptable get to pass on their genes and move to the next round. Imagine the scene, millions of years ago, somewhere in a dense forest, a group of primates is living their best life. One particularly clever ape decides to stand upright. Maybe it was tired of crouching all the time, or perhaps it just wanted a better view. Either way, this upright stance eventually leads to all sorts of evolutionary changes, larger brains, the ability to use tools, and eventually the creation of civilization itself. This narrative implies that our ancestors gradually became less ape-like and more human-like, shedding their fur and learning to walk on two legs. It's almost poetic, isn't it? But let's not get carried away. Despite the alluring imagery, this theory is not without its critics. Some argue that the fossil record is incomplete and that the gaps in the evidence leave much to be desired. Others point out that while we share a significant amount of DNA with modern apes, the leap from swinging through trees to coding software is a rather large one. Surely, there must be more to the story than just a few million years of gradual change, but the idea that our noble human lineage includes some rather unglamorous predecessors is a bit hard to swallow for those who prefer to think of humanity as a special creation, distinct from the rest of the animal kingdom. This is where the sarcasm seeps in. Are we really just advanced primates who got lucky in the evolutionary lottery? Is our entire history just a long series of fortuitous mutations and natural selections rather than a grand divine plan. Whether you find the theory of human evolution fascinating or somewhat demeaning, it's hard to ignore the evidence that points towards our shared ancestry with the great apes. From the way we express emotions to the structure of our DNA, the similarities are striking. Perhaps, instead of feeling insulted by this connection, we should embrace it. After all, if our ancestors could survive the wild, develop tools, and eventually build civilizations, then surely we can appreciate the incredible journey that brought us from the treetops to the stars. So next time you see a monkey at the zoo, give it a nod of respect. It might just be a distant relative and who knows, maybe in some twisted way, it's dreaming of the day when it too will evolve into a creature capable of wondering about its origins.